I just want to point out my outfit because I feel like I'm like a bougie like wife from like Beverly Hills with my little bucket hat and fuzzy coat. Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my December TBR for 2022 the last reading month of the year I am very excited that it's the end of the year because 2022 was a doozy for me let me tell ya if you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with it so this month it is Santa oh my god I know him Santa and it's literally just green and red and white books because it reminded her of Elf and that one scene. So we're gonna go through those real quick. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she has is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is about a girl named Monday who goes missing. Her best friend Claudia is the only one who seems to notice so she starts her own little investigation to figure out what happened to Monday. This was very popular when it first came out and it's been on my TBR since then and I just have not picked it up yet. So this is the perfect opportunity. I have it on audiobook. Hopefully this one will be done. Next up is probably the one I'm most excited for out of this list because I have been meaning to read this book for so long and then I ended up finding it in my thrift store the other day but it is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I read The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and absolutely loved it and then this came out and everybody gave it five out of five stars. They were all loving it so much and I've just been waiting to find a copy of it that isn't $30 in Canada so I found it for $1.50 so you'd know I squealed it in the thrift store when I found it. It gives me Knives Out the movie vibes, which the second one's coming out very soon and I'm very excited. It's gonna be on Netflix and you know I'm gonna be watching it real quick the day it releases. But yeah, it's like pretty much Knives Out in book format, so. I'm ready. Next up is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. This is a murder mystery. I believe that there are eight people that go for a New Year's reunion thing in a wilderness, remote wilderness place, and one of them ends up being a murderer and they're trying to figure out who it is. I love murder mysteries so you know I'm always gonna read these books and have a great time doing it. Next up is Only Human by Sylvan Nouvelle. This is the third book in the Sleeping Giant series. I read the first two on audio really liked them. Waiting for this one to be on audio just because I just think the audiobook is superior to reading it physically in my opinion for these books. I also just think that these covers are so stunning. I always just love books that have little cool embellishments so like the cutout going onto the hard cover. Chef's Kiss Design. Next up, she chose Delicious Monsters. This is by Lizelle Sambury. I saw this on Jessie from Bowties and Books channel and they were very excited about reading this book and the way they described it was so cool. And then I remembered, oh my god, I just got sent a copy of that, so I was like, we need to read it immediately. But it actually takes place in Toronto, which is about an hour away from where I live, so I think that's really cool. It follows a girl named Daisy who has the ability to see dead people and she's just like living her life, trying to hide this secret, and then she's dumped by her boyfriend. Then her mom ends up inheriting a secluded mansion in Northern Ontario and it's basically where her mom spent all of their summers. So since, you know, Daisy went through the whole breakup, she is more than happy to move and go to this house, but the house has a lot of secrets and her mother has a lot of secrets as well. And then it also takes place a decade after that and a girl named Brittany is trying to leave her abusive mother. Her mother is a best-selling author and she stays in the same house that Daisy stayed in and claims that her stay in this mirror Miracle Mansion allowed her to see the error of her ways and Brittany is basically calling bullshit on this and decides to use her platform in order to expose her mother and her lies and uncover the truth behind what happened to a young black girl in this mansion 10 years prior. I'm assuming that person is Daisy but maybe Daisy's the mom. I don't know. Jessie said that they were enjoying the book a lot from what they've read so I'm definitely intrigued. I trust Jessie's opinion wholeheartedly so I'm very excited for this one. And then the final book that my mother chose is The Swap by Robin Harding. I read The Arrangement by Robin Harding and so many people hated that book but I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Like pure vibes man. I had the best time reading it. But this one follows two best friends and then a new woman comes into the neighborhood and steals the one best friend away from the original best friend. 
And then this new best friend decides that they are all going to swap husbands or spouses. Shit goes down from there. So we love drama. I'm hoping somebody's gonna die. I don't know. This is one that I have on audio as well. So I'm gonna be picking that up. But yeah, I personally love Robin Harding's writing. So I'm hoping I really like this too because the arrangement was a good time. Although a lot of people hated it. All right, everybody. So those were the books that my mother chose for December 2022. I have read 150 books this year and I have to get to 160. So so there's gonna be a lot of novellas again this month but once I'm done those novellas I can bang out these things hopefully let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video goodbye